Well, good morning. As we wait for a few of you to jump on this morning, it is uh, another devotional morning on this Sunday morning. Maybe you're getting ready for church this morning or uh, maybe you're still in bed and I want to encourage you this morning to get up and get moving and get yourself to church this morning. Amen. We have a service starting at 10, Hope City Church. Uh, it's 921 Nisley Road in Lancaster. So if you're looking for a place this morning to worship, we invite you to come worship with us this morning. Amen. Let us know where you're watching from. Maybe in the comments, you know, comment uh, where you're watching from this morning. Also comment anything that you're believing God for in this season of miracles uh, so that we can believe with you, we can agree with you, we can pray with you, amen, for that miracle. Uh, also share this with someone. We, you don't know right now that this morning that you may be the seed to someone's miracle. You may be just that catalyst that someone just needs a little bit of hope. Someone just needs to realize that there's some expectancy that needs to happen in a miracle. So maybe you this morning, God is going to use by sharing this video that someone is going to get their breakthrough. Someone is going to get their prayers answered this morning. Amen. So I'm believing God that he can use you even now. And if this is, if you're watching this on a replay, uh, God is not just in a moment. God is everywhere. He's omnipresent. So what's happening right now in this live video, I believe God can visit you in a rebroadcast or a replay this morning. Uh, wherever you're watching this, he can just meet you where you are. Amen. Amen. So I'm excited for the word that God's given me this morning. And in this season of miracles, we've heard our pastors say many times from the pulpit, expectancy is the breeding ground for your miracle. Amen. Let me say that again. Expectancy is the breeding ground for your miracle. So this morning, I want to talk about uh, your miracle, but what may be required for your miracle this morning. And the word God gave me is movement. Your miracle may be waiting for movement from you this morning. So let this word be an encouragement for you. What happens when water stops moving? We know when, as when a river is flowing, there's life, there's energy in that. Things are moving, rocks and sediment are moving, they're being changed. The formation of the river may be getting wider and wider and wider to, to hold more life, to hold more energy. But what happens when that body of water stops moving and there is no movement? Well, I can tell you things stop moving, rocks stop moving sediment begins to set in. There's no change. You don't see change happening. You don't see things getting bigger and able to hold more life. You see things, they stop, they stand still. And when water stops moving, you get bacteria, you can get fungi, you get, and because of that, you get things that start to die, amen? Things that start to die that once were alive because there is no movement they begin to die. They begin to breed things in that um, stagnation that shouldn't be there. So this morning, are you, are you are believing for a miracle, but you're just, you're feeling stagnant. You're in a standstill season where it just feels like nothing is moving. Everything around you feels like, and it seems like that it's dying. Can I give you a word of encouragement this morning? Movement. Amen. When things are moving, things happen. Amen. So we're going to just tap in real quick to the story in Mark chapter five, and we're going to start at verse 24. And this is what it says. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. 12 years is a long time. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, the scripture says she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in a crowd and touched his cloak. She moved. Do you see that? She moved and she came up behind him. She pressed through the crowd. The scripture says a large crowd followed Jesus. There was a large crowd of people present in that moment. And she said within herself, she thought, 
If I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. And immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. There are some miracles that will only happen because you move. Be encouraged this morning that there is a blessing in the pressing. The scripture tells us that she had to press through the crowd. She had to exert movement. She had to exert energy to get to have her moment with Jesus. Remember, expectancy. She expected and she said within herself, if I can only touch the hem of his garment this, today, I know that I'm going to get my miracle. But she didn't just stay inside. She didn't just peer through the window. It says she got up. She went and she exhibited exhibit movement. She went forward. She moved. The devil, the devil will try everything he can to keep you from pressing toward Jesus. Did you hear what I said? The devil will do everything he can to stop you in a forward momentum to press into Jesus. And I encourage you this morning, some things I encourage you to do is press past the pain. Whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, maybe it's pain of relationships, maybe it's uh, financial pain, or maybe it's a career pain. Whatever your pain is in this moment, I encourage you, press past the pain. It says that she had was subject to this bleeding for 12 years. It says that she had seen doctors and that she had suffered and suffering there's pain. Can I encourage you, press past the pain in a forward movement and press toward Jesus because pain can either paralyze you, which is what the enemy would have you do. It, he would rather you paralyze, become stagnant, stop moving. Things will begin to grow in your life that are not of the blessing of God. Think about that water. When it stops moving, what happens? If he can get you to stop moving, and just to be okay with the pain, then he's paralyzed you. When you're paralyzed, you have no movement. But can I encourage you that pain can also propel you. And just like it did with this woman with the issue of blood, it propelled her. If I can just get to the man, amen, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to press through this crowd and I'm going to get my touch too. Press past disappointment. It says that, again, she had visited doctors. She had spent money and 12 years worth of waiting and waiting. And maybe this will work. Or maybe this guy said this will work. Or all this cream will work. Or this, whatever, whatever she was presented with. I'm sure she took the energy and the time and she used the finances and resources she had to try to get well. She was discouraged. Can I encourage you? Your miracles in your movement and there's blessing in your pressing. She had to press past the disappointments. Number three, press past religion. It says in the scriptures that the religious law in those days, because she was unclean, anytime there was any sort of bleeding, they were considered unclean. They were not to be out in public. So for 12 years, this woman bled and I put myself in the scriptures and I imagined just someone being stuck in the house for 12 years because they were an outcast to society. They were not allowed outside. Can I encourage you this morning? Press past religion, press past what, you know, you, maybe you feel like you're, you've messed up or you feel like you're, you're far from God this morning. Can I encourage you? That there is no separation so great that God cannot move on your behalf. That you cannot get your miracle this morning. Press past what, what, what people would say or what you, it, religion, the, the, maybe past experiences that you've had in a, in a church or with another believer that doesn't line up with the word of God. Can I encourage you? Press past religion. Don't let your mess keep you from pressing toward Jesus. Your mess only means you're a candidate for a miracle, amen? Number four, press past 
people. The Bible says this lady had to press through the crowd to get to Jesus. Some of us need to press past some people. Amen. Maybe some people in your life who are a negative influence. Maybe you're standing on the word of God this morning and you just have people talking in your ear opposite of what you're standing in faith and believing for. Can I tell you that you just need to maybe need to push them out of the way because they're not going where you're going this morning. Amen. You're believing for a miracle. You have a, 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 a a sense of urgency and expectancy and excitement and you're hopeful for this miracle, maybe you need to just press past some people who aren't lining up with your confession this morning. Amen. Some doubters or some haters. And can I also say, maybe you need to press past yourself. What are, what are you speaking to yourself? What are you saying to yourself this morning? Can I encourage you? If it doesn't line up with the word of God, then you need to put it aside. Whether you're saying it or someone else is saying it, it can be a hindering block. It can be a stumbling block. It will stop the blessings of God from moving in your life. What are you saying and speaking to yourself? Maybe you just need this morning to get the mindset that I am pressing past myself. Amen. And I'm going to stand and I'm going to believe what the word of God says about my situation. Your miracle is in your movement. Your miracle is in the pressing this morning. And Galatians 6, 9 says this, let us not grow weary. How many of you know when you're waiting for a miracle, when you've prayed the prayers and you've done what God has said to, that needs to be done and you're in that season of waiting? How many of you know that it can be tiring? It, you can grow weary in waiting. But the Bible says, while you're waiting, don't grow weary. Instead, continue while you're waiting to do good. That means continue to serve, continue to get into the word of God, continue to tithe, continue to go to church. Amen. Continue those things which will breed life. It will keep you moving forward in a forward momentum, just like that body of water. Don't grow weary, but continue to do the well-doing. And, the, and then the scripture says this, that you, you will reap a harvest if you don't give up. So be encouraged this morning in this season of miracles. Have that expectancy that today could be my day. Jesus is coming to town. I am not going to pass up having a moment and an experience with him. I am going to press into him, whatever it takes, past people, past pain, past what other people said past uh, uh, just the naysayers and the haters, past the discouragement and the disappointment. Keep forward momentum, keep moving, keep pressing. And it says in the Bible, in due season, we will reap our harvest, amen? So be encouraged this morning. We'll see you back tomorrow around 8.30 for another day of devotions.